I'm Natural Smarty. Let's identify witch hazel, also known as common witch hazel or American witch hazel. It's not a true hazel. That would put it in the birch family of Betulaceae. American witch hazel is Hemimelis virginiana. It's a native tree-like shrub species to the eastern part of North America. Loves the forest understory, but we'll need to go a little lower finding some wet soil, maybe on a slope, maybe even near a stream bank. Here we go, let's look for witch hazel. You've heard of witch hazel because of the medicinal use, the astringent. It's actually the only one of the only plant-based medicines approved by the FDA, but you probably haven't heard too much about how to identify it. So let's take a look. It's typically multi-stemmed. The bark is somewhat smooth, doesn't get too wider than this in diameter, so it's not an important lumber species. And when you're identifying something, at least botanically, you want to think about its growth pattern. It's an alternate growth pattern. See how the twigs and the branches come off on one side, grows a little, then comes off on the other side? It's an alternate growth pattern. Let's take a look at these leaves. At the base, the bottom of each leaf meets asymmetrically. So, the bottom of this leaf, right there, look at each side, they do not meet evenly. And these leaves have a wavy edge. The margin is softly or rounded toothed. You'll often see many witch hazel growing nearby. And that's in part because the fruit, when it dries, it explodes and expels seeds nearby, up to several feet away, actually. So this, though, is not its fruit. This is a gall, this cone gall, which could look like a witch's hat, starts off on this lighter color. Here we go. Starts off at a lighter color and sort of matures, if you will, to a red. And inside are aphids. Not just one, but many. It could be 50, could be 70. These are teeny tiny insects and you'll see this gall growing on witch hazel, and that's one way to help you identify it. Here are some of those fruit. Now this species is pollinated by owlet moths during winter, can you believe it? These are gonna dry up and expel seeds over 10 feet across the forest floor. Easy, now you can identify witch hazel. Look for those alternately placed simple leaves with the asymmetrical leaf base, wavy margin, and those leaves start to turn yellow in the fall. And as they fall off, they reveal a very peculiar stringy sulfur yellow flower. Look for that. It's actually the, one of the last flowering species in the forest landscape. Good luck.